It's review time and we are reviewing Cavity Full Coverage Serum Foundation today. So this is Good Apple Full Coverage Transfer Proof Serum Foundation retails for 42 US dollars and comes in 40 flexible shades. This packaging is absolutely beautiful and recyclable. Got mine in the shade medium 033 and I am not happy with the shade as you guys can see it is very light. There are 40 flexible shades for every skin tone. I'm still not happy with the shade range because I think it is really hard for me to find a perfect shade match for my skin tone. It's, it's medium but it is like super yellow and light on me. They're off. I just applied my regular moisturizer. I did not apply any blurring primer so actually see how this foundation looks on real skin. I'm using a Nisa Beauty foundation brush. Foundation is super lightweight, actually feels nothing on my skin. Consistency is like not super liquidy like the other serum foundation, it is a little bit thick. If you guys can see right here, it just cling to my dry patches which is a big no for me in foundation. I've already prepped my skin with a good moisturizer but still it just cling to my dry patches. Except that dry patch my skin looks really beautiful. It is giving me a very beautiful skin like finish with a full coverage. Also I think this foundation oxidized because you guys can see that it is not as light as it was before. This is before and this is how foundation looks after it oxidizes. So I think it is a little tricky to get your perfect match in this foundation series. I don't know why this foundation clings to my dry patches. It feels like super hydrating and it does not dry down so quick. Like you have enough time to work with this foundation but it still clings to my dry patches. So if you have a dry skin you might don't like it but if you have oily skin this foundation is actually really good. I'm like a ghost right now but here are my final thoughts about this foundation. If you have oily skin you're gonna love this because it's super lightweight and full coverage it feels nothing on the skin. But, but as a dry skin I don't like it because it clings to my dry patches which is a big no for me. I'm not happy with the shade range because it is super confusing. Usually I pick light medium foundation shade for my skin tone and that work perfectly for my skin tone. This time I pick medium shade and as you guys can see it is super light on me so I might not repurchase it and return it